Today I want to talk to you about all the permanent GoPro mounts that seem to be popping up everywhere. Uh, Hypoxy sells a bunch of these and we just kind of figured there's not enough information and not a good video talking about all these various options. So that's what we're trying to do today in a very quickly manner because no one likes a long video. Anyway, without further ado, let's start off with the GoPro aluminum mount that's on our website for about 20 bucks. This mount's uh, basically made in China, what can I say? And it's a fairly simple mount, it just goes on to the GoPro, put your thumb screw through the hole. Uh, the only issues about this mount that I don't like is it doesn't have a capture for the acorn, acorn screw. So you have to kind of wedge up these uh, bolts up there so it captures the acorn screw. The other issue is you'll notice that you can't turn it fully 90 degrees and that's because it's not notched up here. So that's about 20 bucks on our website. It's a great mount for people that don't need those two little features and are okay with just wedging up the bolt to hold the acorn screw. Going up from there, we have the GoPro permanent mount. This is a new mount from Hypoxic. Uh, and the nice thing about this mount is you don't need the acorn screw anymore. We just threaded the, the metal so you can just fit it in right there. It's a little bit longer, so it, it, it does fit a lot of the backpacks in there uh, especially with the hero 2 hero 3 i'm sorry uh, if you throw it in there you'll notice that it does give you a pretty good clearance about yay for if you do have a backpack on your helmet it's counter cut there for the helmet's contour and it works extremely well you just drill two holes on your helmet and you're done with it uh, again it's just tighten up the thumb screw all as well as anodize and that's for 35 bucks off our website Going up from there uh, is the a little bit the low profile mount. This is for 42 bucks off our website, unanodized. Uh, you do still need the acorn screw. It's got a spot there and a little clasp for it. And again, you just drill two holes in your helmet and you have this mounted. It's not so good for people that have the backpacks because as you see on the Hero 2, it is pretty much flush right there. And if you have it on your mount, helmet and have to mount it back, you don't really have much play on it. Uh, going forward from there, what we have is we got our extended GoPro helmet mount. This is a piece, a beefy piece of metal uh, with a top that swivels around. Now the purpose of this is for wingsuiters and all who want to be able to get that 90 degree shot with the helmet and just keeping straight ahead. You can actually adjust the angle of the mount. It's cut out for uh, people with really long GoPros uh, like with the GoPro Hero 2 with like LCD backpack or whatnot. Uh, it has the threaded lock nut on there and it also is adjustable down there by a allen screw so if i was going to mount this i would drill the two holes for the actual mount and then a third so you could adjust the angle if i needed to again this is a great mount especially for people that have uh, the backpacks on you can see how far out that goes um, so that mount is going for 45 bucks on our website right now let's go to the industrial mount, the industrial mount is similar except it's got a flat bottom. This is for people mounting on like wood and a board or a house or building. Again, it does turn around 90 degrees if you need to. I mean, it turns around 360 degrees uh, if you need it to. And it's threaded, same top piece as the other ones. And uh, this goes for 40 bucks off our website. And it's a great little mount for people using these in stunts. They want to affix it to a car or whatnot. I'm sure we're going to use this in Joe's stuff going forward uh, with that said we also just sell the top piece this is just the tripod mount it's just got a quarter 20 in the bottom again long for people with the lcd backpacks and the battery backpacks you could just use this as an industrial source and put a quarter 20 bolt through the bottom it's great uh, as a cross-reference basically a difference between this tripod mount because it's a metal version versus the flimsy plastic part. I still use these for a lot of things that I don't really, I'm not going to uh, put a lot of force onto the GoPro camera since they're really inexpensive, but this is a good replacement for it. Again, it's the quarter 20 uh, tripod GoPro mount. Uh, with that said, we do have these awesome aluminum GoPro wrenches, which are great for tightening up your uh, thumb screw when you're in the plane or whatnot, I keep uh, one of these in my jumpsuit and one of these actually all over the place. We are coming out with our own mounts. Those are, we bought, bought them and, and engraved them. And these are now gonna be made in the United States and we'll be able to 
pretty much make them, manufacture them for your needs and requirements. So if you want to get your drops in or what, graded on them. We are going to have minimum numbers on them and you know different colors will have different pricing. But contact us about that if you want your own custom GoPro wrenches made with a little hole in there. And you can use these open beers if you know how to do it. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the drop zone. Peace. No, he's just gonna do it. Things about where you should knock them or uh, lock, uh, start the fire, I think. He's not gonna land in the yard, is he? In my no. yard, right? Higher, buddy. Oh my god, watch out for the power cords. Woo! I should have got video of